Hi guys, my name is David from Tripnips TV, and today we're going to be talking about the new Far Cry Primal release. Again, I'm really excited for, I absolutely love the new Far Cry series, and I'm really looking forward to this new game coming out. In particular, we're going to be talking about the location settings, the storyline, the animals of the game, including the potential of dinosaurs making an appearance, as well as some of the crafting options we're going to have available to us. So if this interests you, feel free to stay to find out more information. Now the information comes from the trailer and what we've been told by the producers, however there will be some speculation from me and my opinions. As always, we'd love to hear your opinions on the new release, so comment below on what you're most looking forward to about the game and we'll be sure to reply. Okay, so first of all we're going to talk about what I think is the most exciting part of any Far Cry release and that is the location. Now for me, the location and settings can be broken down into two parts. There's the actual look of the game itself and its environment, and in particular for this release there's also the time period of when the game is set, as this will no doubt affect how the game looks. So for those who aren't aware, the game is located in what's been referred to as a valley called Oros, a wild and primitive land which as of yet has not been specifically tied to any part of the world, probably because the world looked a lot different back then to what it does now. Which brings me to my next point, that the game is set in the Mesolithic time period, so really sometime between the 5000 BC mark to 10,000 BC during the Stone Age. Now in my opinion this is a perfect time for this kind of game as it was during this time period that the humans began the evolution of hunting and gathering as well as the initial stages of agriculture and settlements. So this could have been the settlements of small hut villages and in some cases even large walled settlements. Now this may be a factor of gameplay where you and your tribe have to invade rival tribe settlements in order to expand your tribe and gain resources, sort of how outposts worked in the last Far Cry. Moving on to the plot of the story now, and the initial information tells us the basic plot for a man called Takar, who we will play as throughout. An experienced hunter, who through some yet to be explained incident, has become the last remaining survivor of his group, and it looks like we're going to have to defend ourselves from literally everybody and everything that tries to kill us. Anyway, it seems to me that the idea of the storyline is that we're going to have to find some way of surviving ourselves before we begin looking to expand our one man army, as bear in mind in this time period, man was far from the top of the food chain. At some point though, I do believe we will be joined by fellow tribesmen and we will become the leader of our ever-growing settlement by fighting rival tribes for territory and resources whilst defending our own. Whether we will see the option of co-op like in Far Cry 4 is unknown, however it would be awesome to have you and your friends running half naked around the fire trying to summon the rain gods. I'd also love to see side missions where you go on hunting trips to try and kill a huge woolly mammoth or something to bring back to the settlement. That's right folks, Willie Mammoth will be making an appearance in the Far Cry game as well as a host of all other kinds of animals and predators in true Far Cry style. The cool thing about this time period is that it excitingly brings with it a few of the legendary megafauna, which in other words basically means giant animals. And I'm sure if they're anything like those damn rhinos in Far Cry 4, we will be terrified of them just as much. Now this does bring up the inevitable question of will there be dinosaurs in Far Cry Primal, but unfortunately for us the game's time period does not suit the time period of dinosaurs. So this is highly unlikely. So sorry for all you dinosaur lovers out there, but it's just not happening. <coughs> However, the game will feature the saber-toothed tiger, dire wolves, and bears, all for you to be mauled by. But if those honey badgers are in the game, I swear to God, if those f***ing honey badgers are in the f***ing game, I'm gonna f***ing murder every single one of them! <coughs> Another cool feature about the animals is that if you proceed to kill an animal, be it animals or tribes, will show up and fight you for your own hard work. There will also be a day and night cycle for animals, with some hiding at night, whilst others taking advantage of nightfall to prey on the unaware. So the last thing we're going to talk about today is the crafting options we're going to have available to us. As you'd expect from the time period, crafting tools and weapons was key to survival, so we can almost guarantee it's going to be a huge feature in the game. So in line with the story that we talked about earlier, we're going to have to start pretty much with nothing. We're going to have to find things like wood and stones and begin making the most basic weaponry before eventually finding more and more resources to craft increasingly stronger weapons. For me, the fact that the bow is going to be presumably one of the strongest weapons in the game really excites me because it's pretty much all I used in Far Cry 4, like seriously. I never used any of those guns, it was all about those headshots with the bow, right? So that's pretty much all we have to go on so far after the first interviews and trailers. But don't worry, there'll be tons more information coming out in the coming months, especially as the game's coming out so soon, and I'm going to be there to cover every single bit of it for you. I am so excited about this new game and I hope you are too. Remember to subscribe for the latest Far Cry info when it comes out. There's going to be basically a little mini series on this channel with me talking about all the different things that I can't wait to do. We also have a variety of all other kinds of games that me and the guys play in Let's Plays so you can check them out if you want to. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Far Cry Primal video.